Hi, welcome to 30 Demos in 60 Minutes. Today we're going to do another demo that is applicable for sound and music or it works nicely for earthquakes or pretty much anything where vibrations are involved. And so we're focusing on understanding resonance. And resonance is when you drive something at its natural frequency. And so what I have is I have three pieces of spaghetti. It's just standard dry spaghetti out of the package. And I've got some raisins. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a raisin on the end of each piece of pasta and I try to pick fairly equally sized raisins. Oh, that one's a little tough. Let's try a different one. All right, so now I've got my pasta with raisins and you can see that they're all the same length, but I'm gonna hold them differently. I'm gonna hold one of them as long as possible. I'm gonna hold the other one, the next one, a little bit shorter and then the last one even shorter. So I didn't break my pasta. All I did was change how I'm holding it so that you can see that they look like they're three different lengths. And now I can, if you just send random vibrations in, your raisins fall off, send random vibrations in and they all wiggle and jiggle. But if I shake my hand and I'm able to match the natural frequency of the long one, I can get that guy Oops. I can get the long one to vibrate and the other two, the other two don't do much. There we go. And now if I get a little higher frequency, I can get the middle one to vibrate <laughs> and my raisins, my raisins are committing Harry Carey. All right. And then the hard part is getting the short one. If I can get going fast enough, and there we go. You can get your short one, you can match the natural frequency of the short pasta stick, and it's not the natural frequency of the other two, so they don't do much, even though I'm wiggling my entire hand. And so this is a really nice demo when you want to talk about resonance, because resonance is a difficult concept for students, and you can use it for earthquakes. In fact, when you do it with earthquakes, if you get it vibrating with enough energy, eventually it breaks and it damages your building. Thank you and have fun.